Netflix book club. Netflix book club. Yeah, I'm not doing this. Hey, welcome to Netflix book club. Uh, this week's pick was All Is Lost. My name is Dennis Rooney. I'm Casey Aurora. <laughs> I'm joined by... <laughs> I'm Steve McDonald. And, uh, yeah, so All Is Lost. This was a 2013 film uh, written and directed by J.C. Chander, starring only Robert Redford. As and our guy. As <laughs> <laughs> That's his name yeah, in the movie, our guy. Our guy. Yeah. I didn't and realize that. Yeah, you didn't realize got, that? We never got his name. Yeah. The really only thing cool about about was like, oh, Robert Redford as our man's. Our man's. Our yeah. man's Robert Redford yeah. stars in this. And basically this film is a... Uh, there's like one piece of do- of monologue in this film, and that's it, pretty much. And right. then he s- he speaks maybe two or three more times, like barely. And it's about this guy on an, a yacht, and he gets shipwrecked. And See, I would, how he I know that it I know that it was a yacht, but I would call it a sailboat because it wasn't like pretentious. That like, statement was, was sailing, pretentious. He was sailing <laughs> the ocean. He wasn't just like on a yacht. Yeah. Well, I mean, technically. Harbor. I did I did a little research. It's technically a yacht, but you're right though. Before I read that, I would have called it a sailboat. But it's wanna, a really nice sailboat. I just want to give it. I, I just want to give him like lightly more respect because throughout the movie, he's like an incredibly reasonable human being. Okay, <laughs> right. That's true. So it's he gets shipwrecked, and uh, it's basically him losing everything and just dealing with horrible, horrible things at sea alone. Right. And uh, I often think deal. when you're shipwrecked, like you're stuck somewhere, but you could be shipwrecked at sea. Yeah, just shipwrecked. Yeah. That's, right. that's it. Yeah. So uh, this was my pick. I picked this movie because it came out in 2013. I wanted to see it in theaters. I knew that it was like no dialogue. It was just Robert Redford. Right. And, uh, you know, just being completely lost at sea is really uh, attractive. The to opening me. Uh, thing, I thought that was Robert Redford's own eulogy. <laughs> so depressing. <laughs> it might wind up being it. Yeah, this dude was 77, which right. we'll, we'll talk about yeah. later. But uh, so I picked the movie. And you know what? I'm definitely going to go with a stream it. I really liked it. It was a little slow at the top, and uh, it's a simple story, but it's a very cool film to watch. I'd say stream it. Steven? I would go stream it. Okay. Uh, I liked it, but at the same time, I feel like it's got... I, I don't ever want to watch it again. Right. I'm right. glad I watched it. I think other people should watch it. Right. I think it, has, it doesn't have a lot of like replay value. Sure. Yeah. Don't stream it. That movie was oh. terrible. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, no, no thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watch the movie. We'll come back after Any the br- quick reason why you're just no. Uh, I I mean first no. of, first of all that movie is if you want to va- take it percentage wise is obscenity laced. If you think about it, it's just him. <laughs> it's after that eulogy, just him and a string of curses. It's the only words. It's the only words. I mean, you're 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 like it's a string of curses. There's five more words in the whole movie. Well, percentage wise, that's a huge percentage of the movie. All okay. right, so it's a two to one vote for right now. Mm-hmm. Let's see if we could change Casey's mind, which won't happen probably. But uh, we'll probably be back not. after the break. Watch the movie or don't. We'll be back with spoilers. I'm sorry. I know that means little at this point. But I am. I tried. I think you would all agree that I tried. To be true. To be strong. To be kind. To love. To be right. But I wasn't. And I know you knew this in each of your ways. And I am sorry. All is lost here, except for soul and body. That is what's left of them. And a half day's ration. It's inexcusable, really. I know that now. How it could have taken this long to admit that, I'm not sure. But it did. I fought to the end. I'm not sure what that is worth, but know that I did. I have always hoped for more for you all. I will miss you. I'm sorry. And we're back. Um, yeah, man. I was, so I thought you would like this, KC. You thought I would? I really yeah. did think you would like Listen, this. Listen, I... Um, Dude stranded at sea trying to like, figure stuff after out. Deep Mystery water, after Deep Water, I really thought that you were going to end up liking this. You one. know, I uh, Deep Water haunted me 
for weeks on end. I told you guys this. Mm-hmm. I went on a binge of just looking up articles. I was emailing people trying to get the guy's records. Like, that's how crazy I got. What, like his library records? Yeah, what like, it, no, they had a copy of, like, supposedly of his journals or uh-huh. stuff like that. And right. I was tr- all the stuff that he threw out at sea. Right, I was trying to get a copy of that. That's how of much of an impact hold he on, like, Hold on, real quick. He, like, those... contacted his wife. He, like, had right. the entire thing. I was harassing his grandkids. Yeah. For those who don't know the reference, check out the earlier episode, uh, Deep Water. Insane the documentary. Do- and, insane uh, documentary. That was a hit with all of us. Right, And yeah. this film reminded us of it because it's also about a dude... You know, well, did you did you think he was gonna live, Stephen? Did you think he was gonna live? Um, no. That's what made it a good movie for me. Is I was thoroughly convinced that even towards the end, I was like, nothing's gonna come. It's just gonna fade to black. I didn't I think thought, he was gonna get saved. I, I I did not think that he was going to get saved. I also was. It made me really happy. Yeah, that he did. Yeah. Because it because I didn't see it coming. It's the I happy really ending, and it catches you off guard, which is so rare in movies nowadays. Right. You know? I was I was watching. Can you would you agree with that? Yeah, least, no, it was. Know? Listen, it's literally every bad instance happens to this dude. He's just sleeping on his oh, boat, absolutely, and he gets can hit I, by a. You know can what? I run down the list, and yeah. this is like a basic summary of the movie right here. Dude, right. seventeen hundred nautical miles from the Sumatra Straits, mm. and he wakes up, and his boat has hit a shipping container, which is filled with shoes. Which right. what what we'll get to the shoes later. I want. To, what do you guys think the shoes mean? So that damages the radio and all his communications and navigation systems. Then a storm hits as he's like prepare, like fixing the boat. He gets thrown overboard. These are this is every bad thing that happens to him. Right. He gets thrown overboard. He hits his head. Literally, he's trying his best to handle everything. And Stephen, you said earlier, like this guy is doing a great job. Like he's, he's old. smart. He's capable. He's, he's old. Yeah. When, that was my favorite thing, honestly, about the movie was that it was like he was not. He was not, it wasn't like he was like MacGyvering situations. No. But it was just like, hey, you've got like a reasonably intelligent, I've been sailing for a while. Yeah. I'm not going to freak out. I'm not going to have any problems dealing with all of the worst problems. Yeah. He like, he picks up the manual and he gets to work when the, yeah. he gets hit by the tank, well, by like, the tanker. Gets, it like the, the thing, the, the shipping container, like, like it's like he wakes up to water flooding in to the boat he's on. If I was in that situation, I would panic immediately. I would yeah. get the gun. A, and he just looks at it and he like walks outside like puts his yeah, he, like, arms on his hips. He's like, huh. Arm, and he's like, ah, huh. that just, sucks. Because like, I hit a, <laughs> hit a floating... And by the way, would a shipping container float, I guess? Well, yes, there's actually... Um, there's there's a lot of there's like thousands every year there's really? thousands and thousands of shipping containers that uh, fall overboard because when you've got like what la- like later in the movie when you see those huge shipping containers right. like if you've never been next to one of those it's just they're they're s- they're so big mammoth and if they hit a wave it'll start rolling the ship mm-hmm. and you'll and so every once in a while you'll lose one of the shipping containers right. over the side. So it's normal that that would happen. It's a little weird. It depends on what it's what is in it as, yeah. w- as to whether it'll float or not. This um, thing was filled with Skechers, so it was just staying at the top of the let's ocean. Let's not assume Skechers. They kind of look like Skechers. They did look they? like Skechers. But or Converse, I, maybe? Considering the location of where he was from, they definitely were bootleg-ass Skechers. Oh, yeah, totally. I feel like they should have, I feel like they should have sold the advertising on that one. Right, they, they could have. That would have been a really good The one thing in this like, one little thing, indie film yeah. Yeah. that cost $9 million. It cost, right. it cost it, that, it's like that, uh, it would have made me kind of happy if it was like, oh, yeah, the whole movie was paid for by the fact that they showed a Skechers box yeah. floating in the Or it's just like Vans, you know? Right, yeah. <laughs> like the movie made, like they actually made money off it before yeah. they even went to theaters. Right. Robert Redford comes in a Lambo. <laughs> It'd be like if Robert Redford was wearing like a Nike baseball cap the entire time or like a Yankees <laughs> hat, you know, and the right. Yankees paid for the movie. Um, so that could happen then, I guess, if shipping containers are out there all over the ocean and it's oh, yeah, just no, crazy. Oh, yeah, stuff like this happens constantly but in, in the real world. And one of the things that I had with it was, was and I was thinking this, well, what, like later on in the movie when he's in the... Um, like after the boat has sank and he's in the like emergency life raft thing, which is a nice life raft. It is the yeah. Cadillac of life rafts. Yeah, well, seriously. when I was looking at when I, uh, that's another point in the movie is that I was like, I feel like this movie is almost like a like this is like a two hour commercial for emergency equipment on boats. Yeah, right. Like it all works. It mm. works really well. Dude, when he fixed yeah. his, the hole in the boat, I was like, I didn't think that was gonna work. I didn't think yeah. so either. I thought I'm there like, was seawater well, in that. And every single and every single thing that he that he does in it, where he like 
like the, where he's working on the boat, I always was just like, oh man, are they gonna have a moment where he like like when he's at the when he's at the top of the of uh the main the mast he's the fixing the mast. antenna line when he and spots the storm yeah he's fixing yeah. the antenna line and he's trying to fix the uh and he's and he's like checking the um uh the halyard line and stuff like that mm-hmm. is that he ends up in a position where I was like oh they're just gonna hurt him right I, I thought so was too like throw, yeah. that was my thing was that I was like I was so happy. That, like, for a majority of the beginning of the movie, it's like, he doesn't get hurt at all. No. They change that. And here's the best part. This is how bad... This movie could also just be called, like, the worst... The guy with the worst luck in the world. Yeah, nature you know hates I mean? you. So he's doing such a great job on keeping the boat, like, maintained and stuff. And that hole never breaks along. again. Hole never breaks. It, it gets... I think it gets a little water in, or is that another no, spot? No, no, that's another spot. Okay. But he's, like... he's. It's the second storm, I think. Mm-hmm. And he's walking down back into the, into the hull of the boat. Mm-hmm. And the boat just jerks and bam, right in the face. He hits just a pole. Hits a pole. It gets knocked out. Right. And I'll be honest with you, I laughed so hard out loud at that. <laughs> yeah, because like I'm feeling bad for this guy. Right. And even like even just a random jerk of the boat is like first. Okay, so he hits the shipping container. It's a one in a million shot that it's right where the, all the navigational and communication sy- systems are. You know, right. ruins yeah. that that stuff. Why wouldn't it be sea waterproof? That's what I don't get. Interesting. Like yeah. that was the well, thing. No, I think that like the radio was uh, t- pretty much damaged. Uh, he pr- got it working for like a few seconds and then it stopped. The walkie-talkie. It's 2013 supposedly in this movie, or when it because t- it doesn't l- uh, lend itself to uh, an older time. And then that's a big problem for me. Is like we're in 2000. We're in 2015. Now deep water took place years ago, where this kind of yeah. uh, technology didn't exist. So it was like, oh, this is what they had to deal with. Meanwhile, this guy is just sort of, granted, he's got a few tools, he knows how to patch up a boat, he's got a life raft, but the dude doesn't have, like, some sort of universal communicator? Like, these things exist See, I now. Took it as, I took it as more that he, um, because, honestly, I kind of loved that, I, I think the thing that I loved about the movie was that he was so prepared. Right, and he wasn't freaking out. But he wasn't prepared it wasn't enough. Just like, it wasn't just like I'm an idiot. Yeah, on well, a boat, and I don't have. It's not like it's not like I didn't maintain the system. The only time in the movie that he screws up mm. is when is when he's got the water. Is that like he gets he gets water before the storm comes after after the first storm he gets water before he gets onto the the little thing and he doesn't. Screw the screw top. The, he doesn't screw the extra little right, cap yeah. on it, and then it becomes and contaminated, it becomes contaminated tainted, with seawater. Yeah. Right, and it's like that's, that's not the, the only thing he does wrong. He also sets his life raft on fire. Well, th- yeah. but, but that's, that's like a last ditch. That's like yeah. the last ditch yeah. effort, last ditch thing. But the reality is that it's like that's the only time he screws up. Every other time, he's just like doing a really good job. No, maybe yeah. it's because of he's like accepting the fact that he didn't have all the proper things he needed, and he's not whining about it. But hold on, here's who's he gonna well, whine to? Well, that, well that's. You want to talk about me having problems with the movie? One of my only problems was that you said earlier this movie was a string of expletives. Which yeah, not really. He, <laughs> That's not. He, they give us one. Right. He says he drops the f bomb to himself after uh, w- another horrible thing happens to him yeah. on the life raft. I can't even remember what it was because there were so many. It was, uh, uh, what do you after storm two? And then there's the fishing storm two. The fish. I think it was. I don't know. Yeah, doesn't no, it matter. Was the water. It was when he. It's when he. Oh, it's the water. It's the yeah, water yeah, when yeah, he yeah. finds out that he doesn't have that he's got seawater. Yeah, this whole movie should be him cursing to himself. That's my biggest problem. Right. Or at least going a little nuts and I'm talking not, to yeah, himself. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. If this was, if this was me, immediately I would be talking to myself yeah. out loud and yeah. and angry, mm-hmm. and I would be like having discussions at certain points in this movie. I would be having discussions with God. Yeah. Just being like, just being like, you know what, dude? Fuck. You. I'm trying to pick which awful instance is when I'd grab the flare gun and put it in my mouth. Is really what I was <laughs> thinking that that he really didn't even have like a means of killing himself right, easily. Yeah. You no, know, no, I really thought when he uh, towards the end when he takes that glass jar, mm-hmm. and you he thought he was gonna hit himself in the just head, break it. I, no, I thought that he was gonna break it and slit his wrist and slit his wrist. Mm. Yeah. I, I because he was giving it. He that had a look. knife though the whole time though. No, no, but he like That's gave true, it this yeah. look yeah. where he was kind of like, oh man. No, but that like just this. meant this is, yeah, this is the last bit of, you know, history that's left. Is no, it? but I didn't know what he, it, it's not like he had put the letter, I didn't think he was going to like put the letter in it and then break it. Like, I didn't realize that yeah. he was about to put a message in a bottle. So oh, you, you didn't think that? You thought he was just going to break the I bottle? I didn't know what he was going to do with it. Like, he was right. just giving it that look where I was like, is he going to break this You've and like, kill himself? You've watched an hour, maybe that part happens maybe fi- with 15 minutes left in the movie. You've watched this guy for, the movie's an hour 40. 
you watch this guy be really experienced for an hour and a half, and then you think, oh, hey, he resorts to breaking a bottle and slitting his wrist. I don't know. Is that how one? Like, that's so ridiculous. I didn't know what was going to happen. Right. No, he's I know. Out, you know, the water thing, he's making that little uh, water extraction method, and he's getting tiny bits of water. Even I knew how he's, to do that. He's, yeah, he's, yeah, but he's got, like, no too. food left. I mean, I might slit. Yeah, he might have slit it. He gave, the, he gave the jar the look. But hold on. We're talking a lot about what he did. Right. And you don't like. Okay, hold on. Let's talk about who this guy is. Right. Who is Virginia Jean? This guy's got a ring on his finger. He's I got just two kind of rings. assumed he had two rings. Man. Well, I don't think they were both marriage. No, rings. I don't think they were. He's like uh, he's like a guy. I who's put like, one marriage on top of the other. Yes. marriage. <laughs> he's got two. He's got bracelets and little trinkets. You know, it's like a dude who's probably like a grandfather. What I did like about this movie is it leaves so much open. Like you just start filling stuff in. Like for some reason, I'm thinking Virginia Jean is his dead wife. That's just a theory. Right. It's kind of obvious. It's I the obvious probably, route, but that's what I was thinking. I would probably go with that, or that it was something along those lines. Yeah, because why is this? Guy, he's you. You were saying he's not prepared enough. Well, no, why, why is not. this seven? He's all right. Robert Redford is seventy-seven when he played this guy, which means either Robert Redford is playing a younger person at right. the age of seventy-seven, or he's playing a guy about seventy-five years old. Why is a seventy-five-year-old, no matter how long he's been, he's out alone in the Indian Ocean? Oh, All right. alone? The yeah. only thing... What's he running from, man? No, 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 he right. says he's sorry during the speech. What are you sorry for? Who is this guy? He's so, I mean, that that's that part I do like about the movie. That, is that, that had a lot... leaves a lot to it open lot interpretation. But I can't get past the fact that it's just a white guy sailing again, isn't it? <laughs> well, you know what? Just you know what? Maybe like off the coast of Connecticut, he's right. in the Indian Ocean. That's what I'm saying. No, no, it's, it's just like that's, see that to me. There's is no the pictures thing. of family throughout the boat. That's true. That to also. me is the thing that I think uh, that that like it made me wonder about this guy, and that I enjoyed about it was that he he had that element to him where what it felt like was that it's like oh I worked all uh, like I worked all my life like did a job like when I looked at this guy I was just like I was just like. He's the kind of guy that was like a lawyer when he didn't want to be because his parents told him it was a great idea. Right. And he like made good money and he had a family and he had a wife that he loved. Is this how you imagine yourself and going out? And he wasn't. <laughs> well, no, no. And and then he went like this. And then it's like, and yeah. then it's like, wife died of cancer. Oh, man. Daughter doesn't live nearby anymore. He's alone. And then he's like, and it is that thing where it's like he's been sailing off the coast of Connecticut for his entire life. And then he's like, you know what? I'm just going to buy it. Like, I'm just going to take my boat. And I'm gonna I'm gonna sail around the world by myself and just do that. And he's so like, that's it's what his you retirement. Think that was the feeling you were getting. Like that this was guy's the feeling retired. I was getting was that it was like about. he's retired and he's the kind of guy that didn't spend. It's not like he spent his whole life on the boat, but like sailing was his thing. What's he knew. And then he was I mean, he, like, this was, was no weekend like, sailor. And then no. he was just at that moment where it's like because the thought that I was having was is that like I would love. I would love to do exactly what this guy does. Mm -hmm. Like I want almost to die go, at sea. Really? Yes. That's, uh, I want to go sailing. I want, like, I like sailing, and I would love to, like, at the end, like, towards the end of my life, um, just buy a sailboat and sail around in, like, the Indian Ocean. Hang out in the area. projects. What? Why do you gotta? You know, and, I don't get it. Why do you gotta go nuts well, no, and go and sailing? The, and this is the thing: is is it's that insane. I would never, I would never do that if, like, I've thought about it and I was thinking about it while the movie was going on. Was that I was like, man, I would love to do this type of thing, and then I was like, I would never do this if I was, if I was still married. Like if my wife was still around, right? Like I like like my fiance, uh, would like how terrible, how terrifying would it be if you were at sea with the person that you loved and this happened? That's what I thought about. And then you I and then you were that. with them, and then that first night where the huge storm comes and it flips the boat over and stuff like that, and then she's just gone, right? That's that would like be like if rough. you just lost her, and then yeah. it's like, and then it's like now you're alone, mm -hmm. you're going to die. And you took the person that you loved out to sea with you, and now they're just gone. Right. Is that I was like, I would never be able to do that. I somehow feel because weird for your fiance with all that you're terrifying. saying right now. <laughs> yeah, Stephen, you're. This is a lot of weird feelings. Yeah, you're right putting now, a lot man. out on us. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of creeped out. But by like, it. are we still really talking about the movie? Yeah, I don't think we are anymore. I don't know what we're talking about the movie. Anymore. <laughs> are you Robert Redford out at sea? I'm are you Robert the old Redford. man in the sea? I'll tell you this much: I paused the movie at one point, and uh, I. Went to the bathroom. I, I took a leak and I peed in salt-free water. I washed my hands in salt-free water. I took a glass, had a glass of regular water, and I never felt more worse in my life for this guy. <laughs> like I'm like, look at look at all this clean water I'm around, and this guy can't get a cup. You know what I love is honestly one of my favorite things in the movie was when, because I think that I think that it was uh, it it shows who the character was and the kind of like the reason he was on the boat is. After he's fixed the hole mm -hmm. in the side of the boat, 
He's like he's like he's like initially started sailing again and it's kind of holding up and then he looks off into the distance and the sun is setting and he's kind of and he still has this look on his face like oh that's beautiful right yeah oh, i love that Ooh. yeah and i just had this moment where i was like where i was like oh that's perfect is that it's like that's that's what this guy is is that he's that guy who's like i just want to go sailing and like be out on the ocean and that's why i i had that moment in me where i was like where i was like wife's like wife's died he's alone and he's just like you know what I'm just gonna go do this crazy thing that I've always wanted. Maybe to you do gotta with my develop life. a sense of optimism first before you decide to take that on. I'm yeah. saying for you personally. I'm not saying for you're yeah. No, definitely. Right. I'll, I'm I'm Donald Crowhurst. I'll die. In right. Yeah. You're our boy Don. You be <laughs> I, out I'll there. I'll die yeah, in the Atlantic Ocean. It's yeah. You're gonna, a weekend sailor. It's gonna, yeah. It's not gonna work for me. You'll die at Jones Beach. <laughs> <laughs> you won't even make it all the way out there. All right, we're throwing around some theories right now, and I just want to say, Stephen, you are so wrong. Right. You are giving absolutely no. <laughs> you are giving absolutely no weight to the only like monologue in this movie. I'm going to read it right now, please, because do. just to recap, because it. it's short. I'm sorry, and also watch it again. He says it like a Native American. I think this guy's got some like Cree in him or something. <laughs> he says, "Well, the jewelry does say so." I and would the think, jewelry too. I would man. say the jewelry does leathery. Skin. You know, I'm going to be honest, He's man. Insane. Dennis, you are f- you are really freaking on point. You were like bullseyeing these observations right here. Listen, this, to this. guy Stephen over here is like, yeah, he's going to break the bottle well, and cut his wrist. Well, he's like, this guy's. <laughs> you've got no. <laughs> you've got like the worst ideas. <laughs> Meanwhile, this dude's like, you know, he might have a little Cherokee in him, maybe a quarter, maybe an eighth. I don't really know. I mean, you know, he's got a lot the, of thought. the jewelry and whatnot. Go. I'm sorry. Here I hate to interrupt. Out, please go on. Because I don't think that's who this guy was. I don't think this guy was like the sailor. I mean, he might have been like the sailor who just did it all the time and like. Him and his wife. I think this this dude was running from something, man. This dude, he did something wrong. Right. Because he writes the letter. He writes this basically a suicide note. Pretty much. And he says, he doesn't, there's no names. There's no family members. He doesn't write his name. Yeah. This is all he writes. I'm sorry. Right off the bat. Right. What are you sorry for? Don't be sorry. You got hit by a container at sea. You didn't do, like, what's wrong? Unless you did something bad when you were back at land. Yeah. Unless Another you, unless salient so- point. Well, no. See, this is my thing is, I took the, I took the I'm sorry as being... That if like imagine this is is that if he had a daughter mm. and it's like wife died and he decides I'm gonna go to the Indian Ocean and I'm gonna sail that's just what I've wanted to do my entire life and then and then she goes don't go it's really dangerous you know what like, I this d- is a super dangerous thing to do and then he goes no it's okay I've got all this safety all equipment I've got all this right. navigation not, system not I've been pride. sailing for a really long time I the know what I'm doing sh- and then yep. immediately because like I don't know about you guys but I took that as I took this as being like like he has not been out into the Indi- like he left like a week ago like right. it's not like i've been out here for months or like i've been out here for years sailing and having a good time it's like oh man i left a week ago i don't know i, I think he's been out there for a while i think he's been out there for a while also i I'll, think this is hold on i want to read this i just want to say one long. thing before you continue food. i like to imagine the uh i'm sorry as he borrowed his buddy's boat <laughs> 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 Dear Steve, I'm sorry. All I'm, is lost. Yeah. Sign <laughs> Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> My bad, dude. <laughs> I think this is a movie about redemption. Okay. I think it's a movie about All going right, through pain. This is what he says. I'm sorry. I know that means little at this point, but I am. I tried. I think you would all agree that I tried. To be true, to be strong, to be kind, to love, to be right, but I wasn't. All is lost. That's, yeah, it, what you're saying, that makes a lot of you, sense. Like, you have to, this whole movie is predicated on, it starts with this for a reason, right. you know? Mm-hmm. And when he writes it later on, he doesn't, you don't hear it again. I thought you would hear it again. So you did don't I. don't hear it again. I thought I would, too. Right. You just, you just gotta remember, like, this dude is, this dude had, this dude did stuff in his life, man, that he is not happy about. Not mm. small stuff, either. This guy is, like... He was definitely one of the smartest guys in the room. That's <laughs> a callback to what we watched earlier. There Maybe was, he was an Enron there official. Was no, no. There, there, there was no B-roll in this movie. No. I, I, at no point did it cut away to Him in a boardroom. To, to him in a boardroom, yeah. a sack of money falling onto a table under a silhouette, and then Cocaine guys, everywhere. And then guys jumping dirt bikes over. <laughs> oh, God, the dirt bikes again. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know. Does that does that mean nothing to you guys? No, I read you're, way, you're you're reading. Did properly I read way in, too far into absolutely it? Absolutely not. No, no, it I makes perfect sense I, what you're saying. I um, I I agree with everything that you're saying. At the same time, I think that um, I feel like it's that moment where it's like, to me, what to me what it meant was more. It was like going along like with the picture that I put in my head of this guy. Is that it's kind of that thing that's like, it it basically puts uh the end of it of like he do, like him and his daughter don't have a good relationship. 
I don't you're, know why. You're, who is this dog? Yeah, by you, the I don't way. know why. You're making such wide assumptions at on least, this. I'm making. I understand. At I'm least making Virginia wide Jean. Yeah, at just, least Virginia Jean assumes a wife, maybe. Right. Well, you no, know? A or a daughter. Or, or a daughter. 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 Stephen is just letting us know he's going to be a bad father. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he's really doing. You're there's projecting hard. There's a reason I'm not planning on having kids. You're okay? so I'm projecting not, right yeah. now. Oh, he's a bad relationship with his daughter. He doesn't. Call, he doesn't call his dad enough. The thing is, is that. But the thing is, is that he's like, is that he's like, I tried to be these different things. Things. And it becomes that moment where it's like, where it's like he might be he might be running away from this life that he had, but it's he's running towards this thing that he thinks is going to make him happy. Being out on the ocean, it's that moment where he's looking at the sunset. And what? Even though he's got a hole in his boat, he's like he's like he's like I do love being out here, and I really enjoy this. I don't think he's seeking uh, necessarily happiness. I think there's a part of it is running away and hopefully letting things mend themselves. Solitude, seeking solitude, right. maybe seeking just. I think that it's, you know, at some point uh, he just wants to be surrounded by absolutely nothing, and he does. And he gets to that point, and then it gets it gets progressively worse because there's a million things that happen to him that, you know, it was, it was really upsetting when the fish line, and he's, he's like, oh, man, I'm going to get fish. That was the second part when I left. <laughs> yeah. When that thing came out of nowhere. And that, I, almost, I almost burst out laughing. My, my favorite thing, because I just, it, it wasn't going to happen, but in my head it was hilarious, mm-hmm. was after he... Um, after it feels like like the moment uh, towards the end where it feels like the movie's done mm-hmm. uh, before he starts lighting the signal fire and stuff like that, yeah. it goes to black right. and then it comes back with him sitting on the boat. And for some reason, I was just like, with how bad everything is gone, I was like, a shark is gonna jump yeah. over him and into Absolutely. the boat and start eating him. Right. Absolutely. It was just like this moment where I was like, what more could go wrong? I thought a shark was guy? gonna jump and in, like, and I was like, he's just gonna be laying there, right. and then a shark is just gonna come hurtling over the top of him and start biting on his legs or something. Thing. Either yeah. that or he's just like sitting in the life raft just leaning up against the side and it's just dead silent and he's just staring like just slightly south of the camera or whatever and then you just hear Psh! <laughs> like yeah. it's just like a hole out of nowhere right next to him. <laughs> That's insane. It's like how did that even happen? I didn't do anything. And then it so we get to the ending with the the uh-huh. ending is basically now two ships have passed him which is Dude, every time it's heartbreaking. That's heartbreaking. I really start to. I'm talking to the TV man, right. and I'm feeling like him because he's not saying anything. I feel like I gotta fill the silence, and I'm right. like, "Come on, someone's gotta see this." Yeah, like, don't they send? You know what really upset me is like, isn't there some dude I start just to always have, like, on deck? Right, like I start to imagine, yeah. like, can't they have a guy just being like, "Hey, bro, listen, I'm gonna use the bathroom. Can you just look off the side? <laughs> yeah. There's a dude hanging off well, somewhere." No, and the first one. This was my thing is, is that the first one mm. that he comes across, I was like, I get why they don't see him. And yeah, it's because it's, it's during the day. It's during the day, right? It's He's huge. Using, that was a really big he's one. He's using right? a ha- he's using a hand flare right. instead of like shooting one in, into the air. Mm-hmm. And but with the second one, I was like, I guess the only thing that it was was that it was like he kind of woke up. It was like the the boat had already kind of passed him by. Yeah, right. He didn't have as much and of a lead on it. Like but he, he was so much closer it. to the second one. Yeah. And he, like, he was right flares, there, dude. Like, he shot flares, like, across the bow. Like. Right. Yeah. I mean, these are like, yo, isn't anyone awake? What do they just throw this thing on autopilot? It's huge. I mean, it's the size kinda, of an apartment building. They kind of do throw them on autopilot. Like, it's that's insane. <laughs> A little bit when you're out there. Yeah. Right. Uh, but, and then, so then, uh, now he's uh, he's on his life raft. And he's like, all right, there's another boat passing by. Another storm, too, by the way. Right, somewhere yes. in there. And he's yeah. like hurtled in the in, in a the life position. Raft. He's just, crying. yeah, he's got to flip his own life raft and he loses the top of it. Now it's a broken Cadillac. Yeah. Dude, when, he's, when, he, when he flips the thing, like that moment with it, I was just like, how? Give up. Just it wasn't give even up, man. give up. Right, it that's was, what I kept thinking. I'm like, just give just up. Give <laughs> up <laughs> it wasn't even like, it wasn't even give up to me. It was, it was, God, how many things are you going to be calm? Yeah. Well, doing like that would have been the moment if I had been calm through all of it. If I had had like the stoic presence that he puts forth throughout the entire movie, that would have been the moment that I would have been like that. I would have been like, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this at all. I'm gonna. Pa- I'm gonna panic now. You want to know something weird? When I was watching the movie, it's like maybe like twenty or thirty minutes in, and I know it's an unrealistic expectation for this to happen thirty minutes in. But when he's going up the mast. I stopped thinking about him falling off the mast and hurting himself and just thought about him just hanging himself from there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's just another hour of him swinging in the I, wind. Here's, here's our Wait different views. I've got bad yeah, theories. Exactly. I've got bad theories, I, and you 30 minutes in think he's going to hang himself. I know, it was a, I know it was a bad idea. I'm like, <laughs> this is not going to happen, but how funny would it be? 30 minutes in, he hangs himself, and then it's just an hour of him swinging in the yeah, breeze. <laughs> just swinging here's in the, the breeze. And then right Steven at the end of the movie, somebody finds the boat, and it's just somebody coming out of the boat like, huh? Uh, yeah. 
cut to black. This is right. the difference between us watching it. Steven sees a jar. He's like, he's going to break and cut his wrist. You right. think he's going to hang himself from the mast. I'm watching the movie. I'm like, when is he going to run into the life of Pie Kid? <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Tiger just rolls you know, up. Be like, what's the matter? Are you stranded? I was like, to get towed? He's going through such awful stuff. I was hoping, just hoping for a minute, he'd run into some like angry Somalis and they yeah. would just kill him. And that I'm like, was, oh, thank no, no, God. That was what I thought at the end of the movie. The end of the movie that I, uh, where it's like he's, you know, he's sunk down into the water. And right. then now he's swimming back up and he reaches up and he grabs the guy's hand. And the only thought that I had in my head was, Ah, well, now you're a hostage. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it, it'd be great if it cuts to Captain Phillips. All I'm the <laughs> captain now. <laughs> all is lost, too. Right. Somali and run. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Somali So, revenge. also, I just want to throw this in. We're going to wrap up in a minute, but I just want to also throw in the shoes. I want to hear what you guys think, but I also think it adds to my thing. What do you need to run? Shoes. I mm. think he's running from something. I think the shoes represent. Could have been anything in that container. The shoes got to mean Dude, something. Dude, right? you know, I am. I'm impressed. I think yeah. I'm, I'm surprised impre- you didn't like I, this I movie. Never su- Let's be honest. For the audience, you watched this movie last night. You watched this movie like eight hours ago. Right. That's true. So you watched it late at night. Okay. I think you would have liked this movie, man, under different conditions. You know, it's not. I wasn't tired because I was. I, I drank a lot of Red Bull and I, I fell asleep. <laughs> That's how you want to watch a movie with no dialogue. Hopped <laughs> right. up on Red Bull. I'm just at sitting three in the morning. I'm like three sodas deep and just staring at this movie, going, "All right." Let's do this. Just and shaking. Yeah, profusely. Yeah. <laughs> it was, listen, there were a lot of great aspects to the movie. And the ending where he actually makes it is great because I was watching, I remember thinking about Castaway. And I'm like, oh, this is why Tom Hanks won. Tom Hanks won an Oscar because they did something different. He he's, he lived. <laughs> Everyone else just dies at sea. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, and then he comes back and he, and, you know, he gets rescued. And it's just like, you know what, man? No, no, I don't, I don't. It just wasn't for me enough to watch it. So that's why I was like, I don't think it, it like there's a lot of good aspects. I like a lot of points. I like your theories. I like your breakdowns. Dennis, I'm talking about Dennis. Steven, you've got <laughs> bad ideas. You've got bad breakdowns. And you're going to be an awful father and husband. I don't feel bad. <laughs> this coming from the guy who thought he was going to hang himself at 30 minutes into the movie. So go no, on. I thought it would be funny if he did. <laughs> not, not, I didn't say he would because I knew realistically it wouldn't happen. Well, but I would say that I just don't think the movie's worth watching. All right. I, was, I, was, I kind of felt the same way you still feel up until maybe like 45 minutes in. I w- at 45 minutes in, I was still on the fence. I was like, I don't know if I would suggest this. How's it going to end? But... I was happy with the ending, though. I was so relieved. That's good to hear. Yeah, I was. Wasn't re- it? How do you? Yeah. yeah. How do you? You I, still don't like the movie, but all these like, you, especially if you love so, the ending. Because even when so he sees, because the answer is stream it or don't stream it. Okay. And that's why I right. don't think it's worth a hard streaming. answer. I like it. Okay. Because yeah. even when he's sinking and he sees the boat and the light, even then when he saw it, he didn't right away go for it. I was like, it's just gonna fade to black. He's gonna drown. That's how right? it, all yeah. is lost. He's yeah. gonna drown. So. If you can keep me guessing up until five seconds before the movie ends, like that's a great job. This mm. was a, gr- yeah. I think this was a really well put together. It looked really cool. Yeah. It didn't look real all the time. I will say that, but it always looked that's cool. That's because it. That's. Uh, I think that they did a really great job of, um, of definitely where you're like, okay, this is on location. They're out on the ocean. Right. And they're sailing, and then they also did a lot of studio stuff, mm-hmm. where you know it's like CG ocean in the background, which like, I get it. You can't. You can't have Robert Redford out in the middle of the ocean in like terrible weather. That's seventy seven. I know seventy seven. That's crazy. insane. Um, but I thought that they did like they did a really great job of just kind of like everything that can go wrong went and it, wrong. It, no, no, and it, this is the thing though is is that it's not every single thing that can go wrong went wrong because he he's just tackling problems as he goes, right? And he's doing a great job at it, right? Like he's doing a great job of figuring out. You know, like when he when if he'd he spent the extra thirty four ninety nine for that emergency phone, he's probably kicking himself. <laughs> That's what he's saying. The guy at Radio Shack tried to upsell me right. on the on those sea salt water <laughs> do you proof need, navigation. Do you need right. waterproofing? Said, nah. No, I'm gonna be fine. Nah, right, come on, doesn't have, yeah. it's gonna be below deck. My yeah. wife's dead. I killed a man in Albuquerque. I <laughs> right. don't need that shit. I don't I'm have good. time for that. All right, so I'm gonna stick with my thing, man. Even more so, I feel like this was some good discussion. I feel like I've learned more about this movie through talking about it with you guys. I'm gonna say stream it. Definitely stream it. It was a great job. Great job. I've learned Robert more Redford. about you guys as as co hosts. I've learned Dennis is a lot more perceptive than I thought <laughs> than I thought he was. And Steven is an awful person altogether. All around Steven's a terrible human we, being. Thank we you. all already knew I was a terrible Yeah, but I mean now it's just been it's vividly evident. So you're gonna <laughs> stick with Don't Stream, I'm, but, I'm st- but there are points that you enjoy. There's a lot of good points in this movie I enjoy. There's a, don't get me wrong, I, w- I watched it and I was like, there's a lot of incredible points. Hey, at least it wasn't like two hours, right? It, it will, that's another thing too. It was short. 
It was very short. It was like an hour, four, hour eight. But I will say, Steven said this at the beginning, and I totally agree. I would probably never watch this movie again, but I would recommend it to a lot of people. Yeah. Definitely worth a viewing once. That's right. why That's why I'm going with Stream It, is because I think it's really good. I think it's a really good movie. I think that people should watch it at the same time. Because mostly because like I would love to discuss this movie with other people yeah. and see their opinions on it and the way that they thought about it. When you like, because Dennis made a comment right when we were get uh, finishing up watching it, where he was like, "Did he live?" And then it's that thing where it's like, "Oh wait, was that last little bit of dream sequence?" I thought about that too, and like Maybe, and stuff like yeah. that, where it's like, "Oh, he didn't actually like he didn't actually make it," and and he's just dreaming like as he's dying. And I was like, "Oh man, that's an interesting like view on the, the movie." The way it fades out like too, he, it's it goes to light. Most movies it fades to black. It went yeah, light, it went man. to light and like. That's so like I would love to hear other people's opinions on the movie. I'm picking he like survived that. though. I need to. So I much need horrible to. things so happened. Right. I need him to right. live, but, man. But that's why I w- that's why I would go with stream it. But at the same time, if somebody like you know, if somebody else that I knew was like was like, hey, do you want to sit down and watch All Is Lost with me? I'd be like, no, you can watch that on your own. Right. Yeah. That's the thing. That's why it's a don't stream it for me. Well, he would still suggest for him to watch. Oh, I would. Okay. Yeah, I would yeah. All right. Uh, (laughs) What do we got for next week? Next week we got uh, The French Connection with Gene Hackman. I'm excited. I've never seen it. I'm 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 excited excited to see it it too. I'm excited to talk to you guys about it. You've seen it? I've seen it. It's a good movie. All right. And uh, also be sure to visit our website, website, netflixbookclub.com, and then uh, you'll be able to see all the information there. And uh, that's pretty much uh, Yep. Shoot us an email if you got any suggestions. Thanks for listening, and uh, we'll catch you next week. Have a good one. Bye.